Let's find it. Yeah. You okay now? Yeah. Right. Let's go home with my free car. What's going on here? I'm taking a video. <laughs> Why is it pointing that way? This is more interesting. I thought it was pointing the other way. Sick of having a point in the other. Good evening. This is my new project. This is my 1998 Renault Megane, which I picked up for free. Uh, it is damaged. The timing belt has broken in it, apparently. But nobody has actually checked this over to make sure it's actually broken, so I'm not too sure what's wrong. But I assume there's a timing belt problem of some sort. Uh, it's a very high mileage car, not sure exactly what mileage is on it because the battery is flat. Uh, but I think there's in or around 200,000 on it at the moment. Uh, it's a 1.48 valve. Uh, I think 99 was the introduction of the 16 valve, so it's one of the last of these engines. Uh, commonly used in the Renault 19 as well. Uh, and just a typical five door hatch, not worth very much money even if it was running fine and worth even less now. So this car is going to form the basis for my own personal cheap motoring challenge. I just want to see how cheaply I can actually, you know, drive around in Ireland. Uh, we get screwed with taxes, taxes on everything and just generally it's not a very motor friendly country here in Ireland. If you're not from Ireland and you're not aware of that. Um, but I'm going to see how cheaply I can actually drive around. I'm not going to be replacing my Land Cruiser or anything like that, but uh, I'm starting to do bigger and bigger mileages, so I want something cheap to run. And I have a very good idea how this is going to be very, very cheap to run. Okay, so with the cover off, it was immediately apparent that the belt wasn't broken, but there was still definitely a problem with it. And that problem was this guy here because he's not happy because that's the inside of the tensioner so there's only one tensioner on the timing belt and that's it and it completely collapsed and fell apart now because just the tensioner collapsed there is a possibility small might it be but there is a possibility that not much harm has been done so before i take the head off i'm just going to do a little bit more investigation so i went up to a friend of mine and got a new tensioner, it's not new actually, it's second hand, it's one he did a timing belt on a Megane a few days ago and I also got the special tool for um, tensioning it and I have Autodata timing belts, 2003 version so that will give me all the data for tensioning up the, bell, the belt and also for setting it up correctly so I'm just going to stick the new tensioner on the second hand tensioner, the old belt, time it up, turn it over by hand, just see is there any damage done. There's a timing mark there on the camshaft and that aligns with that little rib there on the uh, rocker cover. And down here is the same. Okay, you can see the timing mark there. That's supposed to line up at the six o'clock position, according to the book anyway. around the tensioner. I have my tensioner tool in position there, I hope you can see it. If you just pull the tension up onto the belt, it's pretty good. I'm just get my spanner down and tighten the tensioner nut. Possible. This is quite difficult. I have it just pinched up there now, so. And the tension on that seems okay. In the book it says to tighten it to between 27 and 33 seam units, which is about, uh, let me see, it's between 125 and 175 Newton meters. Uh, but obviously I, I have no way of testing that, so that'll be okay. All I'm okay, so I have a ruler, so I'm just gonna put that straight edge along the valves. If one is a little bit low, then it'll tell me it's bent. Or extremely worn, but. Honest, looking at them by eye, they all seem fine. That one is a little bit lower. 
I'm going to turn it over on the key now and I'll know instantly if we don't get any compression all the valves are probably bent in which case the car is more or less a write off and um, if we do get compression then there's there's hope for it yet but the head will still have to come off um, there's no hydraulic tappets or anything so we'll either get compression straight away or we'll get no compression at all So no compression whatsoever in that engine. Um, all those valves are bent, unfortunately. Okay, so being a curious fox, I did decide to take the head off, and you can see four inlet valves bent. Under there, you can see a big gap. Okay, that should be tight like the exhaust valves there, and you can see a little mark up here on the top of each of them. That's where the piston struck the valve, okay, and bent it backwards, so that's, they're all bent the same. And as they are all bent the same, that's why when I measured the tops of the valve stems, um, they came out pretty much the same, because they're all bent the same. So, that's what happens when your timing belt slips a few teeth. Uh, if the timing belt snapped, at least the camshaft stops and you only bend one or two valves, but... That's what happens. Okay, so as with most of my days off, I start off by arsing around on the internet and I found something uh, on eBay. Uh, inlet valves for a Renault Clio or Megane. So I was just having a look through all the different engine codes and my engine code is there. And then I was looking at the price, which works out about seven euro a valve, including postage. So that's that's pretty cheap, so I decided I'd buy those. I get four inlet valves. Aha, and they finally arrived. They come in this kind of grease paper just to protect them. Well uh four shiny new inlet valves. Sweet. So uh obviously even though these are brand new, they still need to be ground into the head, which I have sitting there. Um, and I'll probably grind them in the same way as I did the little Fiat. All is not lost and for the DIY mechanic you could probably have that thing back on the road for about 60 euro.